And today I want to talk about this little but giant Ecstasy Red Mini. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Eric Paulusi here, and it's always a pleasure to talk about guitar and technology. So first of everything, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel and tell me if you like. And more than this, tell me what you want to see here on the channel, okay? That's my first video in English for my YouTube channel, and I'm so excited about starting this with this awesome pedal. As we know, Bogner is a reference when you talk about amplifiers, distortion pedals, and all the effects that this brand has. So today, I'd like to talk about this little version of the Ecstasy Red pedal. As we also know, the Ecstasy Blue and the Ecstasy Red are the channels of the Bogner Ecstasy amplifier on two different pedals. The blue channel is about the blue pedal, which is a crunchy to a more vintage sound, like a plexi kind of stuff. And the red one is the Morgan pedal, the Morgan channel of the amplifier, which in my opinion has a real truly kind of Bogner sound, which is in my opinion one of the most awesome pedals ever uh, when you talk about distortion and a high definition distortion. So this little but bigger sound pedal is the latest version, a small version of the biggest pedal, but the so and the sound of a Bogner kind of amplifier is really here. It has some differences when you talk about the biggest version, but you can find great results in both ways. So, before I talk about the pedal itself, I'd like to talk about four elements that only you and no one else in the world is going to have like you have. The first one is the way you hear. The second one is the way you set your pedals. The third one is the way you play. And the last one is your personal taste. So everything that I talk here is about structures, concept, and of course that you can increase to everything that I'm going to talk here, your identity. How do you do this? The first thing is to understand that if you are here in a frequency that it's sounding more than it should be like high frequencies or bass frequencies, let's suppose it is sounding more than it should be so you can cut it. And if you're missing some frequency, you can increase it. That's the first step for you to increase your identity in everything you're playing. Let's take a look in the pedal. You have gain knob, you have the middle knob, you have the treble knob, you have the bass knob, and you have the volume knob. All of those frequencies represent what a pedal has, like an identity, like this pre-amplification, like the soul of the pedal. But beyond all of this, you have more three switches, like a secondary kind of equalization. So the first one, called Variac, is about the compression of the pedal. So when you turn it on, it allows the pedal a more modern kind of identity. When you turn it off, it's like a more vintage kind of sound, and of course, there is more volume on the off mode than on the on mode, but you can use, of course, all of this, understanding that the volumes depending also of your guitar. The second switch you're gonna see on the pedal, which is B1 and and B2, it is about a secondary equalizer. When you are on N mode, there is nothing happening than the sound of the pedal. When you use the B1, higher frequencies and low frequencies are increased. When you use the B2 mode, medium frequencies are increased. On the biggest version, of the pedal. You have the structures of the amplifier when you talk about personality and gain of the pedal itself. But in this little version, you're gonna see more gain or less gain. So you can understand that you have the more distortion mode on the high gain and the less distortion and vintage mode on the last game. One thing that you're gonna see in this battle is that it has more gain than the biggest version. In the biggest version, you have the boost switch, and this switch allows you to increase more gain to the battle. But on this version, because of the small size, it has more gain on the gain knob itself. One thing I like to consider is the fact that it has more bass frequencies than the biggest version. One thing that I can truly say is a great quality on this pedal is the high definition of everything you're playing. You can hear everything and you have a dynamic and punchy sound which is 
absolutely amazing it's almost unbelievable and one thing that i always like to talk about is even with guitars that has more punchy and fat sound this pedal defines everything so i'd like to show you a little example of this playing with my les paul let's check it out <laughs> As you can see, the pedal itself is really, really amazing. And no matter how much gain I'm using on it, it defines everything I'm playing. But better than me talking about how frequencies work on a battle, let's hear it together. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hey, 
Okay, did you like the Ecstasy Red Mini? I am completely in love for this little but giant battle. And tell me one more thing, did you like the video? I hope so. Every day I am here recording videos to help you to understand more about this awesome universe of guitar and technology. So if you're my guest, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Tell me your thoughts about the video. And of course, don't forget to tell me what you want to see here every day on the next video, okay? Thank you very much for watching the video. I wait for you on the next one. Take care.